So you helped us get to 100 soups. Yep. And I need to know what your favorite soup is. Cream chip with beef. What is that? It's a soup. Hi, friends. Hi. We hit 100 soups, and I can't believe it actually happened. Whenever we talk about subscribers on YouTube, we say soups. So, hi, if you're watching this and you're subscribed, you're a soup. If you're watching it and you're not subscribed, you should subscribe and become a soup. We're going to rate 100 soups from around the world. It's really just going to be based on what they look like. We realized that if we actually physically tried a hundred different soups, like tasted a hundred different soups, that it was all going to end up going to waste because you can't eat a hundred different soups in one sitting. We have a, uh, a list of a hundred best rated soups from around the world. So join us on this souptastic adventure as we explore what the world <clears throat> has to offer in the arena of soup. I'm going to get so hungry. Let's do this. Soup number one comes from Hungary. <laughs> and it's called a Zoldzeg... Help. If you're from Hungary, how do you pronounce this? It looks like, like a carrot... It's like Onion. a vegetable soup. Yeah, it just looks like a vegetable broth soup. Oh, yeah, it says colorful vegetable soup. It's a staple Hungarian dish. How would you rate that? I mean, it looks really good. I I love vegetables, so I feel like I would personally love this. However, at the same time, it is also just vegetables, and I feel like it wouldn't keep you full for very long. Yeah, so. I have, like, bad memories of, like, bad church soup. Okay, how are we going to rate this? What would you rate it? Zero. You would rate it zero? Out of five. From zero to five. We're doing zero to five. Zero to ten. Still a zero. I would say seven. Number 99 is Zupa. It's from Poland. To be honest, that one doesn't look that great to me, personally. It. Mm -mm. I'm sure it is good, but there are just different components in there that I don't think I personally would enjoy. I just enjoy. see, like, you look at, like, just a random egg on it. I just feel like there's uh, so many flavors going on. You got sour cream, carrots, like it looks like leeks. Is that sour cream for sure? I don't like it, this. I'm sorry, Poland. I have to give it a three. Zero. From, from, this is from the Czech Republic. Sour okay. cabbage. It's sauerkraut soup. It's, it's basically, I hate sauerkraut. I think I'd do this a three. I think I have to give this one a zero. I'm oh, so man. sorry. Man, Czech Republic. Brutal. 97 is also from Poland. With another name that I can't pronounce, but check out this. It gives you like a little like ingredients thing. It looks like chicken, carrots, onion. Like a noodle soup. I don't think I'd classify this as a soup. To me. Zero. It looks like a... Dion! <laughs> Are you just going to rate everything zero no. just to be confrontational? <laughs> no. I'm sorry, Poland, but your soups. I, I would rate that one... Uh, that one looks like something I would actually like. I will rate it five. <laughs> 96. I'll give that a four, just on glance. <clears throat> it looks like a basil egg type thing. I'll, I'll do 4.5. Number 95 is also from Hungary. And Hungary. I, Hungary. It's a fisherman's soup made of Ooh. river fish bathed in a broth that is heavily spiced with hot paprika. I would like this. That sounds pretty that good. That sounds really good. <clears throat> a, like a hot fishy... I'm going to give that an eight. I'll do a six. Yep, that sounds pretty good. All right, number 94 is a carne and su... Hugo. Hugo, sorry. Hugo, okay, all That's right. An, so oh, it's a, a Mexican a. soup. That looks delicious. All right, I'm going to give that like a nine. Oh, yeah, I'm going to give gonna, this a ten. I'm going to give it a nine just I because want I want there to be room in case there's something else, but that looks ten. amazing. I want it right now. I'm hungry. Poland, again, a traditional so wintertime cool. dish with sauerkraut, potatoes, and root vegetables. Look, sauerkraut zero yep, i'm sorry zero. i can't i don't there's nothing like <laughs> like when i have soup i want to bite into something i i just can't do sauerkraut i'm sorry all right number 92 is um it's from portugal it's a calde verde we have know? a friend that makes something like this four four really i would I do five down the middle line i'll do an eight number 91 is a salmonor I don't know. Puree, tomato, bread, garlic, vinegar. Okay, I'm down for mm -hmm. this. This sounds like kind of like a tomato soup. With Seven. like extra stuff put in it. Seven. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do a seven. All right, number 90. Here we go. <clears throat> and then here's what we're going to do. We're going to go through the next 40 soups speed round. Miso soup. I think that's what they have at hibachi places. Oh, I think. Yeah, it's the broth has a really good. It's, it's really good. I'll, I'll do, yep. I'll do a nine. 
nine as well for me. First glance, give it a rating. That Cheese French onion, onion soup. Yes. I'm not a big fan of French onion soup. I'm going to do a three. 10. 88. Nope. Zero. That's a beet soup from Ukraine. Four. 87. Mm, six. I like the kind of like beef. Five. Just based on looks. Like She's, she based right one. off of look. Yeah, one. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Uh, Croatia. Oh, it's like a bean corn soup. That looks good. Six. Seven. No, oh, it's like a gourd soup from oh. Austria. Oh my gosh, it's a pumpkin soup. Ten. Yeah. Six. From Romania, seven. Nine. Okay, based on looks, I'm going to say a one, but based on what's actually in it, I'll do like a four. Five. Nope. I'm good. Zero. One. Lentil soups, yogurt. No, Ooh. I'm good. Zero. <clears throat> um, I'll do a four. Look at this, like chorizo, beans, beef, a little bit of cabbage. Done. Absolutely. Eight. Eight. I can't pronounce these names. Grease. Gre- That's not even a soup. It's literally they just slapped a fish on a plate. I don't like that. Zero. I don't like the way. Yeah. Zero. I, do. <laughs> I normally love Greek food. Oh, it's a shellfish. It's like breaded soup with shellfish and shrimps in it. I would love that. Ten. Three. I don't oh. like the way it looks. I'm sorry. Zero. Hot yogurt? No, I'm good. I'll do a three. Hold up, mom. I gotta boil my yogurt. Oh my gosh. It's like sausage and bean soup. I would eat that all day long. Garlic, onions. Mmm. Give me that like, looks like, that looks really good. Yeah, I'll ten. do I'll I'll do an eight. Poland cabbage, red cabbage soup. I'm good. Nope, zero. Looks cool, but I don't think I would like it. I'll do a one from Colombia. That eight. looks really good. Yeah, eight from Turkey again. Same thing. Nah, I'm good. Thank you. Zero. Bye. Three from the Czech Republic. Zero mushrooms, a mixture in there. Mm-mm. That looks really good. I'll do an eight. From Greece again. Oh, it has it has lamb. I'm not honestly a big fan of lamb. I'll do a two. Yeah, uh, zero. Also from the Czech Republic. We don't get a good picture of this, but it looks like there's potatoes, onions, garlic. I'll give it a six just because I like those things. Seven. I'll do seven. Also from Poland, we've got a, it looks like split pea type soup almost. Diced potatoes, root vegetables. I like that. Six. A warm thing with a big loaf I'll of do, bread. Yeah, I'll I'll do a six. Number <clears throat> sixty-seven. Are you guys staying with us? You there? How you doing? You hungry yet? Pause the video. Go get some soup. It's okay. Um, it says it's a lentil soup. I really like lentil soup. I'll do I'll do an eight. Zero. Tartar. Bulgaria and North Macedonia. I think I'll pass. Zero. I don't I don't know how I feel about this one. I don't know. I, I'll do a two. Again, here's the thing: is like you kind of need the smell of things and. Yeah. Like, there's We're some just of these doing I'm, this mostly based off of looks. <laughs> right. Some of these, I'm like, dang, I, I I would like to try this. Like this one right here from Turkey. This looks like a, what is this? Red it's lentils. It's a mint flavored soup. That sounds interesting. Like like almost like a palate cleanser before you eat your main course. I would, I would really like to try it. Four. Yeah, I'll do a four. All right. Number 64 from Mexico. <gasps> Ten. Yes. 10. This is 63. No, zero. I'm a little tired of chicken noodle soup, so I gotta give it a four. All right, so I'm not very familiar with, like, Japanese ramen. Um, I've heard a lot of people really like it, so I'd be curious to try this. So I'll give it a three out of curiosity, but a zero out of looking at it. Really? I would give it, like, a six. This is from Vietnam. If it looks, it's zero curiosity at two or three. Six. Back to Hungary again. Five. Six. We're almost halfway. We got this. What soup are you? Comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> of the hundred of you that we're reviewing right now, because this is I'm, this is what I imagine is watching us, just this bowl of soup. <laughs> oh my god. I can't pronounce any of these names, so I'm not even going to try, but it's from Finland. It's a split pea soup. Split pea soup is super good. I'll do a nine. Yeah, I'm with you. Okay, if we're back into like the, the Asian ramen type soups, I haven't had a lot of those, so I don't really know what to base that off of. I gotta be honest, This is I feel like this is just a really bad picture of it. Based on the picture, it's like a, a one. Looks like it would be good, so I'll give it like a three. I'll stick with that. For Romania, no. There's just a chunk of like fish in it or lamb. I'm good. That just weirds me out. Zero like, on that. Yeah, sorry, zero. Yeah, Philippines. It just looks unsettling. I'm gonna go zero oh, on that. Oh, yeah, it says internal organs. That's why it looks unsettling. Negative ten. I'm sorry, zero. Sorry? More for you? Yeah, it, chickpeas. It is. Good eye. It's from Greece. I'd be Gar- curious. Beans. They're garbanzo beans. Four. Um, I really like chickpeas. I'll do I'll do a seven. Alright, now we don't have a picture for this one, so I'm gonna I'm gonna rate it as zero. Hey. <laughs> Wait, okay, based on the ingredients. 
three. Here's another Polish soup. Um, tradition. Sauerkraut zero. I'm sorry. Yeah, two. Now nah, you get the gristle. It looks like lamb. Okay, it's prepared with beef or chicken, but I'm, I'm not. That looks pretty good to me. I'll I'll give mm. it a five. All right, now we have beef noodle soup. Now this is curious. I'm curious. This is from Taiwan. I would be curious to try that. I'll give it a four. It says it's a source of immense pride for the locals. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would like to try it. <laughs> <laughs> it does look... No, it actually does look good, though. I, I'll do a seven. Number 50. You ready? Um, It looks like a meatball soup. It I could try that. Beef meatballs. Six. Five. So we just had a speed round. Now we're going to have an extra speed round <clears> to try <throat> to get ourselves to the top ten. You ready? Okay. We're going to look at it. Just say a number and go. Zero. 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 Oh. Zero. Three. Five. 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 Zero. One. Zero. Five. Ten. Five. Three. Four. Mm. Four. Two. Zero. One. Zero. Two. Zero. 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 Three? Uh-uh. Three? Three. Zero. Four. Zero. zero. Six. Three. Zero. 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 One. Mm-mm. Oh. Zero. Zero. Two. Three. Five. Seven. Zero. One. Zero. <laughs> Two. Five. Zero. Three. Zero. Two. Three. Yeah, three. Z mm, mm, zero. Oh, it's finished with salmon. Seven. Zero. Five. Uh, three. Five. Six. Four. Five. Mm, zero. Zero. Seven. Five. Ten. Ten. That looks so good. I'll do a six. Three. Six. Six. <laughs> three again. All right, now we're in the top ten. Thank you so much for coming all this way. And again, hopefully this is a semi-entertaining video for you, but we wanted to say thank you to all of you guys who have subscribed up to this point. And here's our little soup celebration. But now we're in the top 10 of what this article considers to be the top 10 soups in the entire world. 100 soups. Right. Oh, well, it's the, yeah, top 10 soups. It's been really fun making all of these YouTube videos, and I hope that you guys <clears throat> continue to enjoy the journey as we go through things. We've got a lot of fun ideas, and if you have fun ideas that you think would be entertaining, or if you look at the type of videos that we've done for this point, and you're like, I really enjoy the co this type of content that you're doing, slap a comment down below, slap a like on this video, hit the subscribe button, and help us, uh, uh, yeah. If you like the content we've been doing, just let us know what you've been enjoying. You guys ready? Top 10. Why? There's like been like a hundred of these different types of soup. It must be like that localized area like Poland, Lithuania, Lit Latvia, Estonia. It's like this weird cabbage beet, or no, like beet soup. There's no cabbage, it's beets. I don't like that I'll red. Say, I'll say one. I, mm -mm, I'm zero. Zeruk from Poland. That doesn't, Zer, Zerek from that Poland. doesn't look very good to me. I'm that sorry, doesn't. I gotta give it a zero. Yeah. I'm going to go zero again as well. From Japan, it's ramen. It's ramen. The Ten. I, I'll do a nine. Traditional ramen from, like, actual ramen from Japan. I feel like I would... I feel ashamed if I didn't like it. This is from Colon and from the United Kingdom. Ooh, what is this? Dish in a fishing community. It's a creamy fish soup. Milk leaves. I feel like I would enjoy this. I feel like most English food I've heard is not that... Great. It looks like it could be decent, but I'm also skeptical, so I'm going to give it a four. Six. All right, number six. According to this article, the best soups in the world doesn't give us a picture. Why? Zero. How can it be in the top ten and not have a picture? I don't understand whoever. Okay. Maybe we've been reading a complete sham. This entire video is thrown well, out the window. Okay, I'm sorry. That just doesn't... It's a sour soup, and it's made with fish. I'm good on this one. All right. Number top five now. Ooh. What is this? This is from France. Leek onion. I feel like I would enjoy this as like a pre-meal thing. I'd be willing to try it. I don't know how... I don't want a lot of it. I'll do a, a two. I'm willing to try it. I don't know how much I would actually like it. Four. All right, man, this is kind of depressing. I feel like there was better soups that we already looked at. Singapore, Philippines. That was the picture that they had on the cover or whatever. That's that looks really good. I want to try that. Cabbage, broccoli, seafood. I would like to try it, but five. I'll do a seven. I'm not a huge fan of ginger and a lot of stuff. It's it's okay. More ramen. More ramen. I feel like <laughs> I'm not entirely convinced looking at this picture here that I'm like, yeah, that's the one that I would pick, but I give it a six. Yeah, six. All right, number two is turkeys, however you say that word, <laughs> Um but it is a red lentil, chicken stock, onions, carrots, salt, pepper, cumin, 
paprika. Pin. Yes, that. That actually, it looks really good. And I, it sounds like something that I would really like, so I'm going to give it a nine. It's something that I would like to try, but I'm not sure I would want to repeatedly eat it. But it looks like one of those things that your, gra- your grandma would make for you. Um, and they give you way too much to take home. <laughs> so I would go four. The number one soup in the world, according to Taste Atlas. They know what they're talking about. <laughs> Apparently is. Really? That from the Philippines. Why is it the best? What do they have to say? Pork cuts, sim- tomatoes, onions, garlic. I don't know. I'm not that impressed. I mean, it looks good. I don't know that I would say it's number one. Five. Five. I'll do a seven. All right. Now, are you ready to tell the world what your favorite soup is of all time? I don't think I have a favorite soup. It depends on my mood. Wow, there's a hundred people watching this right now. And you just told them that none of them are your favorite. Any bread bowl from Panera. (laughs) Unless it's broccoli cheddar. It's true. Broccoli cheddar is by far the world's worst soup in the entire world, and I need it to be known. Take this video and share it everywhere. If you didn't like anything that we did up to this point, this is the moment that you're like, yes, I need to share with my friends. Absolutely. Broccoli cheddar is the most disgusting thing on the entire planet. I can't say one particular soup is my favorite, but I love tortilla soups. I love squash soups. I love homemade chicken noodle, specifically homemade chicken noodle soup. That's really good. Chicken tortilla in a bread bowl. I like hearty soups. Mm. Yeah, I don't like like super liquidy stuff. But anyway, that's the video. Tell us what your favorite soup is down in the comments. We really enjoy interacting with the comments that you guys leave behind. And if you feel so compelled as to share this video, or if you happen to have found one of those little cards that we've been hiding around, comment below and let us know where you found it, because I think that's quite hilarious. And make sure you rehide it. Thank you so much for getting us to 100 subscribers. I hope that you um, leave a like, leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed up to this point, Hit that little red button for us, and uh, the next goal is a thousand. But I will not be rating a thousand soups because that, oh God, <laughs> too much. <laughs> we'll figure out what we're gonna do once we hit a thousand. Help us to get there. It'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High five. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Bye. guys. Bye.